ABC 7 I team tonight following late developments in the Russia election meddling case. 13 Russian nationals were charged today in an elaborate plot to interfere with the 2016 presidential election, including two Russian women who came to Illinois. Eyewitness News investigative reporter Chuck Gowdy here now with more details. Chuck. Judy, from Moscow to Washington to middle America, there was information warfare underway, according to the grand jury indictments. It was a scheme commanded by 13 Russian nationals who tonight are facing federal indictment. Tonight, the I-team looks into two of them who had come to Illinois in 2014, according to the feds, to gather intelligence. The defendants and their co-conspirators pretended to be grassroots activists. According to the indictment, the Americans did not know that they were communicating with Russians. They didn't use their own, obviously, Russian names, and according to federal prosecutors, had dummied up identities. June 2014, Alexandra Krylova and Anna Bogacheva came to Illinois during a swing through nine U.S. states, allegedly for intelligence gathering. I think you've got these essentially Russian agents working their way through the country, meeting people uh, involved in campaign-related activity, meeting people uh, who can put the message out of misinformation. They're establishing contacts with people that can help them spread their misinformation. Despite heavy security surrounding Illinois election records, two years after the accused Russian operatives were here, Russian hackers managed to penetrate the state's voter registration system, accessing thousands of personal records. That was playing out even as candidate Trump was disputing Russian meddling in the U.S. campaign. I don't think anybody knows it was Russia that broke into the DNC. She's saying Russia, 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 but I don't, maybe it was. I mean, it could be Russia, but it could also be China. Today, after leaving for Florida, the president's tweet acknowledged Russia's anti-U.S. campaign in 2014. He says long before he announced a run for office. And Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein said the Russians had communication with unwitting Trump campaign staffers. There's no allegation in this indictment that any American had any knowledge. And the nature of the scheme was that the defendants took extraordinary steps to make it appear that they were ordinary American political activists. U.S. investigators tonight say the Russian women who snuck into Illinois were high-ranking operatives in the election information war. Taking a page from a spy movie, they both bought cameras, SIM cards, and burner phones and devised evacuation scenarios from the U.S. if that became necessary. It didn't. They were believed to be back in Russia. Quite